Hey everyone, this is a quick tutorial about how you can use Unfluff to optimize your content a little better. If you go ahead and click on the link in step 2 on our website, you will be taken to a piece written by an AI content writing tool. Copy that and paste it in either the WordPress plugin, if you have that installed on your site, or the online tool. Click on the Unfluff check. The app will highlight sentences it detects as fluff. In this case, the unfluff score is 14%, which is very low. If you want to see what it found here with the first highlighted sentence, it says, there are many things to look for in a coffee maker. And all of them are important. So let's take a look at all of them to help you choose a good coffee maker. Kind of a poorly phrased sentence, saying the same thing twice, especially considering it's already mentioned in the previous paragraph here. In this article, we will cover some important points that will help you choose a good coffee maker. And then the second sentence that's highlighted goes, the first thing to look for is functionality and capacity, which is very similar to this part. Many things to look for in a good coffee maker. So again, very fluffy, pretty much just saying the same thing more than once, which many content writers will often do in order to reach word count quotas. That's the case with the rest of these sentences in this article as well, a lot of highlighted ones. For contrast, if we go ahead, copy this Forbes article I have here that I opened previously, paste it in the tool, and click Unfluff Check, you can see that it scores a 92%, which is a much better score, and a pretty good one. Some of what it finds might be false positives, which will happen since the tool is far from perfect yet, so use your best judgment when going over content. We think that the main value of this tool is to have editors or anyone else in charge of content production quickly go over the recommendations and skim through highlighted sentences that can be fixed up. If the score is too low, like the 14% one, it's very likely that the article in question is poorly written overall. Note that if your content requires the use of very simple conversational English, or if your article is a series of repeating steps or some kind of roundup where you need to do a lot of rephrasing and say similar things, there will be more false positives. So, like I said, use your best judgment as the tool does require a second look from a human editor. Thanks for watching and hope you have fun unfluffing!